They got blown out at home. Really, they got blown out up until the fourth quarter by the Baltimore Ravens. They did make the score look closer than the game was indeed. Now, rushing-wise, the defense has been atrocious. In totality, the defense has been awful, but the record is one and two. They can still save themselves Thursday versus the New York Giants. But, but, but... Before you can save yourself, you got to save your ego. That's James Jones. That's Chase Daniel. To my right, it's my dog, Shady McCoy. Shady, let's get to it, big dog. Should Jerry Jones, should he be embarrassed by what the Cowboys are putting on the field and what he has done? Ooh, Usa. Usa, right. big dog. Good day, right? God is good. Oh, and good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, my brother. Good morning. Well, so, should he be embarrassed? He shouldn't be embarrassed. The Cowboys should be embarrassed. <laughs> uh, last time I checked, Jerry Jones ain't making no tackles. No, he's he not. He ain't blowing no coverages. No, he's, he's, not. Not. he's not. He's not missing assignments. He's not. He's not staying in, in his gap for the, against the running game. Yep. That's not him. True. That's, he's not throwing Very picks. True. That's true, not true, him. True, true. But one thing Jerry Jones did do, he got y'all nine all, nine all pros, right? Mm -hmm. and, and eight of them all pros, they're still there. He's doing his job. When I look at the Dallas Cowboys about being embarrassed, we should go to that defense. Y'all should be embarrassed. Mike McCarthy, y'all should be embarrassed. Right now in the NFL, first of all, y'all gave up 274 yards in a real game. That's like Madden numbers, though. When I play my son, that's what stuff I do to him. People were averaging 190 yards per game against the Cowboys. That ranks dead last against the run. Oh How the hell is that Jerry Jones issue? Mm. Right? Because last time I checked, you do got Michael Parsons still there. Demarcus mm -hmm. Lawrence is still there. Mm -hmm. You go out there and get Kendricks in, in, in our free agency. We talk about they ain't do nothing with the defense, but they did. He's a solid linebacker, yeah. would you say? Yeah. Right? You go out there and get you draft the guy first round from Michigan. A deep tackle, it's not one. Yep. So when we talking about embarrassed, no, we should only focus on the team itself. And, and one thing about Andy Reid, I've learned, we don't deal with all the ownership. They gonna give you the players you, you, you need or you want. You can't control that. Mm -hmm. What we can control is how we coach these guys up, yeah. are we disciplined, and how are we competing though? Because when I check and I watch the Cowboys, they're not a competing, they're not a competing team. There's no, there's no type of fight. There's no type of dog. Yeah. You can't go for 270, 274 yards and think it's some fight in them. Yeah. So I'm not gonna blame this on Jerry and Jones, but I will blame this on the players and the coaches. You you forgot something there. What I forget, big brother? What I forget? Um, I forget. I think Jerry Jones should be embarrassed because he allowed Mike McCarthy to stay the coach without giving him a new contract. You talk about all the things you just talked about, that's on the coach. The coach hires the defensive coordinator, Mike Zimmer. The coach runs that offense. So that's why, ultimately, I think Jerry Jones should be embarrassed. When Let's rewind back to April. Remember those all-in comments that he made? Mm -hmm. yep. He reiterated it again in July. You know what the, the Cowboys did in the offseason in free agency? What's that? They spent $18 million in free agency. That is easily the least yeah. amount in the NFL. You That's know the second highest? You know the second, second lowest? $60 million. There's a $40 million difference in spending. They got all, they're the most profitable and valuable franchise in all of America. So when you do that, what does it say to the guys you have in the building? You're not only, you go out, you get running back Ezekiel Elliott, 29 years old. He's washed. Mm -hmm. He isn't playing well. Let's be real. Linval Joseph, I'm pretty sure you did an exo, uh, a libero on him yesterday. He's 35. And then you go sign Eric Kendricks, who's 32. You go out and you sign guys that are older. They're already an old team. Why are you getting older with age? And then you go out and get Mike Zimmer. And, you know, we can talk all we want about scheme or anything like that. The Cowboys can't stop the run. Yeah. They, they're lighting the pants up front. They're, they're not gap aware exactly what you said. So my thing is, like, it starts with Jerry because he allowed the coach to come back. Yeah. You could have eased, there was a lot of talk about firing him. He, he allowed Mike McCarthy to oh, come so back. You, you don't like, hold up. You don't like Mike as the head coach? I do, coach? I do. But at the same time, if you, if you don't sign him back to a deal, you're a lame duck coach. What, what is... What is Mike McCarthy working for? His whole career right now? What you, for? what you mean what you're working for? Yeah. I'm just saying, I don't think he's the right coach right now for the before, job. Before you go, hold on real quick, because oh. we think Mike McCarthy's oh. a good coach because he's 12 oh, and 12 man. and 12 wins, for one. I don't know about the contract stuff, but he has a job to do, matter if he has a, a deal for the future or not. And secondly, right, because we're not going at it, I just want to just clarify something, though. When they signed, before the season started, you was fine with Mike McCarthy being the coach. We all can say yes. 100%. Okay. What? And then Mike... Zimmer, we, we y'all all was loving that idea. So I, I'm looking at Jerry Jones' part. Like, all right, so Mike Crawford's a good coach. I, you give you that, right? Zimmer is a good defense coach, defense coordinator. We give you that, mm -hmm. right? You talk about all these players, like, okay, well, they didn't sign a free agency. If you go to some other team that was 60 million, you talked about, do they got eight All Pros on their team? Probably no. not. Chargers don't. You know what I'm saying? Definitely so it's not. like, it's like, what else can Jerry Jones do? 
But you know, I will say this though, Shady, because I was with you last year, the year before, the year before, the year before. This is the first year in my mind that Jerry Jones has let the team down. Jerry Jones, you knew you had a wide receiver three problem. You didn't solve it. Jerry Jones, you knew you had a running back problem. You didn't solve it. Jerry Jones, you knew you had a defensive tackle problem. You didn't solve it. Jerry Jones, you knew you had a linebacker problem as it pertained to size at the linebacker position that could come downhill and smack folk. You didn't solve it. Jerry Jones, you knew you might potentially have a defensive back problem because even if Bland does not get hurt, Trayvon Diggs is still coming off an ACL injury in a position that has to run the most on a football field. Cornerbacks do not go out the game and back in the game like wide receivers, and you didn't solve it. So for the first time, I would suggest in a long time under Jerry Jones' tenure, the Dallas Cowboys had several issues this offseason, and Jerry Jones, you didn't bother to solve them. You lose Tyron Smith, who's been your tackle since 2010. You replace him with the first-round tackle, but you better pray to the good Lord up high that a first-round <laughs> tackle is going to be able to sustain the pass rushers that the NFL has to offer. offer. Jerry, you knew you had all these problems, and you ain't solved none of them. That, to me, is why Jerry should be embarrassed, James Jones. He knew these issues. He knew them. He knew them. <laughs> yeah, um, I think we had a conversation about this uh, maybe a couple months ago, and I was against y'all. I said, this is all on Jerry. I'm with Shady now. Mm. There's flaws in everybody's <laughs> roster. Is there not? It is. On every, there, roster, on every right. roster in the National Football League, there is flaws. But this substantial, and, I can't let you jump over that gap. Hold on. Yeah. On every roster in the National Football League, there is flaws. Maybe a flaw. On every roster in the National You're Football League is not eight all pro. Of it's course. Not. It's <laughs> not. So at one point, we, we can't be nitpicking about Jerry Jones. Like, we can't be sitting here like, Jerry Jones got to get in these players, and then we sitting here like, Jerry Jones needs to listen to the people that's scouting and in the front office and all that. Jerry Jones paid a lot of money to his star players, right? Yes, he did. This year, right? You get yeah, Dak Prescott, you. you get CeeDee Lamb in the building, right? Like you said, you lose Tyron Smith, mm -hmm. you draft a first-round tackle. Mm -hmm. Right. Because we know we are weak there. In free agency, yes, you could have did something at running back, you did it. But you did try to do something at linebacker. You're not coming into this season thinking Bland is going to get hurt. So you're walking into you the season saying, we still have two good corners in Bland and Diggs. So we should be straight at the corner spot. So I can't let this go on, Jerry, especially how it's going on the football field. Because these are not close games you are losing on the football field. Mm -hmm. And these are not Jerry Jones problems that you're losing on the football field. Sure. This is players and coaching problems that you are losing on the football field, not Jerry Jones. So I can't sit here and blame Jerry Jones or say Jerry Jones should be embarrassed. The people that should be embarrassed is the players out there on the football field. Because I don't care what defense you are on the national, 190 yards rushing. Come on, man. Come on, man. We I, can't, so we I can't got, say this stuff another, another one Jerry. for you. So, so the Chiefs, we all respect the Chiefs and Andy Reid, mm -hmm. and we respect Brett Veach, the yep. GM. You know, they got a starting uh, left tackle. He's a rookie, too, right? Mm -hmm. So, it, but hold up. It, but what I'm saying is the, the mindset, okay, if we lose our tackle, how do we replace him? Yep. Yep. Why not get a high draft pick replacing? That's yep. one. And it's, that's the chance of doing it. Another thing is, let's go to the defense for a second, right? The Bills, they got a lot of moving, uh, uh, moving parts over there, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. Look, you think that's a good defense? Not on paper. They it shouldn't surprising be. Yeah. Okay, so well, I'm, I'm getting well. somewhere, right? So yeah, hold on, on hold on, because because we all love Mike Zimmer when they when they made that hire. So I want y'all to stick to that. I'm not letting y'all get off of that. Okay. So let me go to my point. So with the Bills, if I say they got any all pros in that defense, what would you say? Starting, starting defensive right now, players. Probably not. No. 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 If I said they have any Pro Bowl players in that defense, okay. starting, what would y'all say? Yes. No. No. Probably not right no. now. No. So hold on. So we get somewhere, though. We get somewhere, though. boys ain't pro We, we get yeah, somewhere. Okay, we get somewhere, Jay Jones. We get somewhere now. Right, so right. as much as we want to blame Jerry Jones, who has a team of eight all-pros still there with all-pros and pro bowls, with good defensive coaches, like I said, and offensive coaches, how is Jerry Jones to blame? Because we see other teams that's winning teams, mm -hmm. like the Bills, who have none on defense, like the Bills, who or the Chiefs have a starting rookie mm -hmm. at tackle who drafted the same way they did. So we got to stop playing this blame game and let's get to the real fact. The real fact is the players on the field are not playing well. That's so, so, so if you have eight all-pros, though, James and Shady, right? Well, let's which, clarify. They got a punter that's an all-pro and a kicker that's still, there's No, no, this is... Got, you still have eight all-pros. Okay, you got six now. Yeah. Cool, you got six. No, no, I think, there, I think eight's a good... I think eight's a good, a a good number. So if... Jerry Jones, the owner, he's not going anywhere. He owns the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He can't go anywhere. You paid all those eight pros. They're not going anywhere, mm -hmm. right? Like, the core of your team is not going anywhere. Who's got to go? 
What, what, does, what does it need to take for a change in Dallas to get to where they want to go? So, you're not changing Dak. You're not getting rid of CD. You're not getting rid of Micah. You're not getting rid of the owner. The only thing to go is Jerry is uh, Mike, Mike McCarthy. McCarthy. And I'm not saying he's a bad coach. I'm not saying he's say a bad that. coach. But who else? If the Dallas Cowboys doing the same thing over and over and over again, that def but definition is, is called insanity. Mm -hmm. You're doing the same thing. There's a reason why... Jerry Jones didn't give Mike McCarthy an, 